Let's look at the five biggest data science trends in 2022. So if data is the oil of the information age and AI is the engine, then data science is the digital domain's equivalent of the laws of physics that cause combustion to occur and pistons to move. We have seen amazing advances out of the field of data science, including machine learning, AI, deep learning, natural language processing and computer vision. And we have seen a move towards a democratization of data science. And we will see this continue to happen in 2022. So let's look at the five trends that I am seeing in the field that will really reimagine and redefine data science in 2022. My first trend is small data and tiny ML. In the past, we've needed big data as the input for our machine learning algorithms. And for example, GPT-3, the largest and most complicated system capable of modeling human language, is made up of around 175 billion parameters. And this is all okay for companies that have vast, vast data sets and unlimited access to computing power and cloud storage. Um, but companies with less data, for them it can be a challenge. And what we'll see is we'll move to much smaller data that we need and a more data-centric model where quality data is used to feed off-the-shelf code or neural networks. Large data volumes also is also a challenge for edge computing. If you think about self-driving cars, if they, are, if they need to send all of their massive data load to the cloud and process it and get it back, this sometimes doesn't work, especially in an emergency shit situation where they have to um, operate really fast. So tiny ML comes into play here, which refers to machine learning algorithms designed to take up as little space as possible so they can run on low powered hardware close to where the action is. And in 2022, we will see this appearing in an increasing number of embedded systems. Everything from wearables to home appliances to cars, industrial equipment and agricultural machinery. Making them all smarter and more useful. My second trend is a move towards a data-driven customer experience. Businesses will increasingly rely on data to build worthwhile, valuable and enjoyable experiences. This has been accelerated over the last few years and as the pandemic sparked a wave of investment and innovation. And now we're using data to cut down frictions in e-commerce, create more user-friendly interfaces using things like augmented reality. We can now use AI chatbots that are more realistic than ever. We've seen the introduction of cashier-less convenience stores from Amazon and a greater level of personalization in the goods and services we are selling. And this will be a massive focus for many people working in the field of data science in 2022. My next trend is deepfakes, generative AI and synthetic data. In 2021, many of us were tricked into believing that Tom Cruise had started posting on TikTok when scarily realistic deepfake videos went viral. The technology behind this is known as generative AI as it aims to generate or create something like fake videos of Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. And generative AI has quickly become embedded in the art and entertainment industry, for example. Martin Scorsese used it to de-age Robert De Niro in The Irishman. And a young Mark Hamill appears in The Mandalorian. 
and the members of ABBA were brought back to their prime to perform their latest songs for their virtual concerts. And in 2022, we will see much more of this, including my own digital avatar that will be launched. And I see huge potential for this in also creating synthetic data that we can then use to train machine learning algorithms. For example, we can use generative AI to generate photorealistic images of people and we can then use this to train fa facial uh, recognition algorithms for example without uh, the challenge of privacy that comes with using real people's faces. My fourth trend is this big convergence. AI, the internet of things, cloud computing and super fast networks like 5G are the cornerstones of the digital transformation that we're experiencing at the moment. And data is the fuel they all burn to create results. All of these technologies exist separately, but combined they enable each other to do much more. Artificial intelligence enables IoT devices to act smart and intelligent, driving a wave of automation and the creation of smart homes, smart healthcare, smart factories and smart cities. 5G enables our super fast connectivity to the cloud and to massive processing power that will enable mobile gaming and also the use of untethered augmented and virtual reality on the go. In 2022, an increasing amount of exciting data science work will take place at this intersection of these transformative technologies, ensuring they augment and enhance each other. And then we have the auto ML trend, short for automated machine learning. Auto ML is an exciting trend that's driving the democratization of data science I mentioned earlier. Developers of Auto ML solutions aim to create tools and platforms that can be used by anyone to create their own ML apps. In particular, it is aimed at subject matter experts whose specialized expertise and insights make them ideally positions to, positioned to develop solutions uh, to the most pressing problems in their particular field, but who often lack the coding knowledge needed to apply AI to their problems. Quite often, a large proportion of data scientists time will be taken up with data cleansing and preparation and this requires often very detailed data science skills and can quite often be a repetitive and mundane task and auto ml at its most basic involves automating those tasks but it is increasingly also used to build models and create algorithms and neural networks. The aim is that very soon anyone with a problem they need to solve or an idea they want to test will be able to apply machine learning through simple user-friendly interfaces that keep the inner workings of machine learning out of sight, leaving them free to concentrate on their solutions. 2022 is likely to see us take a big step closer to being able to make this an everyday reality. As always, for more, subscribe to my channel or check out my book, Data Strategy, in which I talk about all the latest trends in data and data science.